Welcome back to DS Trucks. In today's video, we are going to be testing the towing on our 23450. We've got it loaded pretty good. We've got the 10,000 pound skid steer in the trailer. We're probably right at 16,000 pounds in the trailer combined. And we've got a couple tons of salt there. As you can see, it's piled up pretty high. A few tons of salt in the hopper. 1,000 pound plow on the front. It's loaded pretty freaking heavy. So we're going to be driving it. We're going to be seeing how much def it's going to use, how much fuel it's going to use, all that good stuff. And uh, kind of talk about how it performs with everything on it, really just loaded to the gills. But anyway, let's get in the truck and see how she does. So here we are at the fuel station. Gonna top it off with diesel and def. Unfortunately, you can't do them both at the same time or else I'd fill both these holes. But... uh Anyway, uh, maybe I'll do the def first. Let me go ahead and get that started. All right, pumping her up. So not too bad, $23 and 5.9 gallons of def. I think if they would have made this def tank a little bit bigger, maybe that would make things a little, you know, twice as big. I mean, you're using twice as much, right? So. Let's go ahead and put this away and top it off with fuel. And $65 to top off with diesel. Let's go ahead, let's jump in the truck, and let's get rolling. So our def level is now at 100%. Exhaust filter is 40. Um, fuel is full. It's only saying we got 383 miles to E because of the weight we're towing probably. But uh, how do we see our trip fuel? And that's going to be right here. Trip one. We are currently getting 12.6 to the gallon. Let's drive. Let's go ahead and reset it. And let's see how much, what kind of MPG we get towing. And I guess we'll also see what percentage our death level is at after we get done towing. So anyway, I guess we'll just cruise on up out of here. So we got the plow on the truck and the issue with doing that is it's a giant wind sail, meaning it just blocks airflow. You just don't get good airflow with the plow on and, it, and the coolant constantly gets overheated, 216 degrees. What the truck would benefit from, maybe with the plow on it, if it has some type of auxiliary fan to just give it some consistent airflow with the plow on, maybe an upfitter switch type of thing where it just blows the air, not crazy, but just enough to keep keep the, uh, keep the airflow across the radiator. I don't know, comment below and let me know if you think that'd be something, you know, kind of cool if you're towing something just to blow some air, but this is how the ride quality is. I would say that with the salt in here, it's a little bit bouncy. I mean, we're talking two, at least two tons of salt and two tons of salt is easily 4,500 pounds. So we ain't messing around. We're probably I hate to say it, but pretty grossly overweight with the truck as far as payload. I mean, we got a thousand on the front, 4,500 ish pounds of salt, and a spreader that probably weighs like 350. So, our payload there, our payload on the truck's only 5,000 pounds. So, just alone with no trailer the truck is over payload then you put a trailer on it with a 1500 pound tongue weight that's another 1500 pounds now you're in freaking you know we're probably 65 7000 pounds or something of material or you know 
overall weight on the truck, which is uh, like, holy smokes. <laughs> that's kind of, uh, that's kind of crazy to have that kind of weight on the truck and be that far over, but the truck is more of a derated truck where it kind of wants to fall into a regulation a different type of regulation so it gets derated a little bit to keep it down to the 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating so I mean the truck doesn't feel like it's doing anything crazy or it doesn't feel unstable in any way or anything but just a legal load with the uh even a legal load with the with the uh, gasoline V8, the F-350 that we have, the single rear wheel, it can pull this trailer with a skid steer legally, but it doesn't have the confidence that this is so far over payload has. So, as far as MPG is concerned with all this stuff on it, we're getting 5.9 miles to the gallon. Our depth is still 100%. I wonder if we'll use any def at all, but those are the days we live in now. It's like, hey, I'm, what kind of def mileage does the truck get? I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, if they're all the same, but maybe it's the case that the more power you use, or the more fuel you burn or power that you have, the more def you use, but I'm gonna go ahead and drive, get a few more miles on, and I'll see you guys in a little bit so we are 8.5 8.8 miles in now and we're getting 8.3 miles to the gallon that's not bad it's pretty impressive but the truck drives pretty good I mean once we're on the highway it really felt, felt like it tows like a dream because you don't have to worry so much about all the bouncing because the truck has less bumps to hit as you go across the asphalt. I mean, this part of the asphalt is a little bit rough, but uh, we had some brand new smoother, smoother asphalt, and it's like, man, I could drive this thing clear across the country like this, but uh, we're getting 8.3 to the gallon. Pretty impressed with that part of it. It's, it's still kind of climbing up a little bit as we cruise. You can hear that fan kicking on and off. It's, it's 55 degrees. And the radiator is just not going to get the airflow that it needs with the plow. So aerodynamics are working against us for sure. Uh, this guy, I'm going to let him over. Man, is that fan roar. You see, the engine brake jumped up to uh, 36% just now. Again, lots of fan action. As we try to control our temperatures. That's got to be hard on the belt and everything just to have the fan work in this much more. That serpentine belt must really uh, be uh, getting a lot of extra wear. That's why I say an electric fan would be nice because it would take a little bit of stress off of that serpentine belt by, by using the electronic system, the electronics of the truck or the 12 volt side of the truck where that part of the system is pretty... Un, unused. I mean, what's running 12 volts right now where you can't just run a fan? Maybe that would be a better solution. I don't know. But uh, all in all, very impressed, very confident towing this much weight. More confident being this far over than um, more confident being this far over the weight than even being in the ratings of like a 250. So that's where the 450 really shines a lot of people are like why even get that well that's why you can just tell anything and it just doesn't care uh, but I'm not gonna go out and say that you can't feel it you can definitely feel a difference I mean slower you're hauling and towing excess of 20,000 pounds so yeah she ain't light I would like to weigh it but uh, that place is not open right now for the scale so maybe another day but I have the machine. I could always load it again. Not a big deal. And actually drive it across the scales. Hopefully I can know. Hopefully soon know. 
I can get rid of this plow. I don't want to keep it on a truck, but I'm doing this for the video, so I guess it kind of is what it is. But anyway, I guess we'll continue to drive, and I'll see you guys at the next scene. We are now 22 minutes in, or 22 miles in, 28 minutes, 8.5 miles to the gallon, and again, the truck's doing good. The mileage has been up and down. We've kind of stepped on it a little, passing people, but truck's impressive. I'm actually going to go back to the fuel station, refill it with def, and see how much def this truck used so far. The gauge is still at 100%, but maybe it did burn some depth. I'm kind of curious. So we'll establish how much depth this truck uses, if any, on just a short trip, maybe 30 miles by the time I get back. And I'll go ahead and refill it again with depth. See you guys at the fuel station. And the moment of truth, how much fuel did we use? 23 dollars 5.250 gallons and that's pretty much it for the def we used 47 cents and 0 0.117 gallons of def until we got another click so basically nothing oh that it's actually coming out now so it's yeah we basically use I would say essentially no def on this, but I mean, the truck does seem like it burns more def, but it didn't use that much. So as much as we're complaining about how much def these trucks are using, it's definitely doing it, but I guess it didn't regen or whatever during that time. So I don't know. I guess I'll go ahead and park and do an overall review. In closing, the truck did great. The mileage was good. It performed great. As you can see, as it sits here, it has all the weight in it. Even though I knocked the pile of salt down, I'm going to I'm assure you guys that it's freaking in here. It's heavy. She had me. And uh, the truck just did good. You know, it, it had no problems. The trailer's looking good. We're right there at its payload. Tires don't seem to be squatting crazy or nothing. After they've rolled around a little bit, they kind of start to look more normal. It's almost like once you load it, it looks like the tires are squatting, but then you drive it around a little bit and it's not so bad. But uh, yeah, I guess it's time to just wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. If you want to save some money on some Hot Shot uh, Secrets Oil, use discount code DS-Trucks. That's what we're running in our truck. Uh, I'll take you inside and show you what we got for our oil and I highly recommend the Hot Shot Secrets uh, oil. Don't gotta go crazy and get into the PAO stuff that I've got. They've got some cheaper uh, oil as well for the guys that are more conscious about you know, the cost. But for me, I'm running the PAO full synthetic. I'm actually running the 10W30 now. I think I'm gonna be switching to the 540 next. And it's, uh, it's pretty good because in my case, my oil life is so short based on that oil life monitor and I've probably reset it three, four times. So I guess maybe I'm the guy that can actually justify the PAO, which is recommended for, uh, according to Hotshot Secrets, it can go 3X what the uh, OEM recommends. So I don't know. But anyway, in closing, got to wrap it up and go. I got stuff to do. But thank you for watching. My name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. See you in the next one. Over and out.